Here I am at magicschool.ai and you can sign up for a free account or you can log in. I already have an account so I'm going to log in. Um, when you get in you see all the different tools they have for teachers. I think there's over 70 different tools here um, that are pre-built that are easy for teachers to use and um, hopefully save time and make their teaching practice a little bit better. Uh, so as you're going through, as you're looking at all the different tools they have, if there's one that you think would be really useful, you can hit the star next to it. And what that does is it makes it one of your favorites. And um, when you make one of, when you make uh, them your favorite, what happens is they appear at the top of the list. So here you'll see some with stars next to them. These are the ones that I starred that are in my favorites. Um, and today we'll take a closer look at the rubric generator. So once you find the rubric generator, um, you can star it or you can just open it up. You'll see it starts with a grade level. I'm going to start with grade 5. And the standard is or the objective is create a timeline for the Silk Road. And give it a title and then a description. All right, document six major events in the life of the Silk Road trading route. And point scale, I'm going to have three. And you can add additional customization. I'm going to start by generating. OK, and it generated a rubric for me. But I do not like uh, grading on creativity, so I'm going to remove that one. So I can just type in the prompt. Remove creativity and originality. And what it will do is it will remove that row from the rubric. And now I have my new rubric all completed. Um, now I want to move it into my workspace so I can copy that table and I can paste it where I want. I can also say export and I could export to Google Docs or Microsoft Word or maybe you just want to print it. Um, I'd probably export to Google Docs. And so it says selected resource. This is the second rubric I generated, the one without the creativity and originality, and that is the one that I'd want to export. But I could export the full thread as well, including the prompts if I wanted. Um, but I'm just going to export this one, and I can export this selected rubric to my Google Docs, um, share it with my students so they know what we're working off of, um, and I can open it and see it right there in Google Docs. So that is how you'd use the rubric generator in Magic School. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.